Good morning, Suzanne. Good morning, Wendy. Come oh on, we gotta get going. I don't wanna be late. I had no idea that you even had a driver's license. Oh, yes. I'm a great driver. You better buckle up, though, when you get in here. I, I will. I've never been in any accident. I'm gonna drive nice and slow. I like your car. Thank you so much. It's the Chevy Malibu. It's really beautiful. All right, let's go. Come on, Wendy. Uh, Off to the studio. This is the boo. That's what they call Malibu as in Malibu, California. Oh, All the, the cool people call it the boo. The boo's gonna get us there. <laughs> So is little Cav up? Did you get him off to school or he's, he's getting ready for school? Did, you, you didn't see him at the corner? He's, oh. te he's taking the bus. He's still taking the bus? Uh, how's he gonna get there, Walk. And by the way, yeah. normally when we leave the house, we pass him, like bye boy. Oh! Yes! Oh, because he's waiting on the corner uh, in hello? the snow. Uh, and? So Wendy, what do you usually do when you're driving? Kevin and I, uh -huh. we choose to commute together. Okay. He drives. Okay. And I sit in the passenger seat. You know, after good conversation about family and personal life, mm -hmm. then I need to hear the music. All right, great. So all you have to do is just plug your phone into my car and we'll listen to your music. Perfect. <laughs> all right, Suzanne. Yeah. We're gonna kick off the set with a song that always gets me ready. Excellent. And you might be familiar with it. Just can't describe it. Oh, oh no, 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 finally it's happened to me. Hey Wendy, it's Hi, Jason Wendy. and Norman from Hot Topics. How you doing? So we wanted to tell you about this story about uh, Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani. Things are moving really quickly between them and they say he might be ready to propose any day. The first is them at the recent Vanity Fair Oscar party where they said they were acting like... Like giddy teenagers. And the second is them at the supermarket. So take a look at the video. Okay. Great. Bye. All right, um, does your boo have Wi-Fi? Okay, but my boo does have Wi-Fi. You gotta connect to it, and then you can watch the video. First of all, it's too early for anybody to be talking marriage. Uh, right? I don't care what the body language exactly. says. Wow, her dress is really pretty. Oh my gosh, they have grocery bags. Is she carrying grocery bags herself? She's wearing heels to the grocery no, store. No, she is not. Yeah, big ones. What do you think of Pamela Anderson? I know she was your dream guest. She didn't disappoint. Yeah. She was really nice and totally California chill. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I felt bad that she had to come to New York to be on our show. <laughs> when I whispered to her, you know, after the interview, I said, you know, thanks for coming, yada yada. So you just, you're gonna jump right back on the plane. You'll be up at the beach in like five hours. She said yes. <gasps> she really? said, I'm so glad to meet you, but I. I love the beach. How are you Malibuing? Well, here we are. Thank you. Oh my God, you're welcome. I'll see you in the studio. Yep. Have a great show. Clap extra hard. I will. Extra hard. I'll see you later. Right. Yes. Bye. 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 Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. And I love your boo. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I had a nice healthy breakfast. It looks like I'm gonna be wearing misty blue today. I like that. Oh, yes. But I love how that one swings sitting in my Hot Topics chair. I turn around and look at the board. I, I see. I, I toss the hair. See the difference between a lash and no lash? No lash, not bad. Lash. I'm gonna review Hot Topics for the day. Did you hear about Erin Andrews? I am so happy for her. Uh -huh. Are you serious? So happy. 55 million. Good for her. What do you Good. Think? What do you think? I feel like she suffered and that people who don't understand that are insensitive to what it must be like with her being a lone woman on the road. Heads will roll. Yes. They're rolling. All right, who else okay. is naked? Kim Kardashian. <laughs> She's lashing out at her haters after she posted this new selfie. Boss, 10 minutes, 10 minutes later. It might seem calm, but that's because we are a well-oiled machine. Look, 
I've got shoes to match the misty blue dress. Hey, Bobby, clap those hands. Can I get you to clap those hands? This is my lucky ring. I wear it every day. It's the only ring I wear. We're gonna flip flop Meek Mill and Maria Sharapova. Have a good show. So funny, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna eat all of this. And I'm, really I'm taking the rest home for dinner tonight. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I stand on the star. Five, four, three. Really? First thing in the morning, no sunglasses. <clears throat> Feeling for Klempt, New York City. We're going to Elvis Duran, who I love. We're promoting season seven of Wendy. I'm very excited. I've been up since 4.30 <laughs> this morning. My entire house was quiet except when the car service pulled up and gunned his motor and then Shaquille woke up and started barking like crazy. And I had to leave Kevin and Kevin there to deal with that. But I think he went back to sleep. <laughs> he went back to sleep. Yes, he did. Um, we are promoting season seven of Wendy and it's a beautiful day. It's the day after Labor Day here in New York, which, you know, uh, business as usual for Tri-State. Traffic is busy. The Lincoln Tunnel is clogged up. <laughs> and uh, we're on our way to my friend Elvis Dr Duran. Excuse me. Elvis, last time I saw him, gave me this beautiful Hermes collector scarf. And it was so beautiful that I actually had it stretched, pulled, and framed. And I want to surprise him by showing him that gifts do matter. Like, so here we are in Lower Manhattan at Z100, your hit music station. Elvis Duran, really excited to see him. <laughs> I'm wearing a Wendy dress, by the way. I feel a mess. <laughs> it's like, what time is it? Oh, it's eight o'clock in the morning, but I've been up since 4.30. Elvis is a big deal. Straighten up. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Nice to see you. Thank Welcome you. back. Thank you. It's good to be here. Mm -hmm. um, you guys can get comfortable. Yeah, We're I'm going to sit. Our luxurious VIP lounge. I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we need to work on So, um, with Elvis, I'll talk to him about the new season. And, um, guests coming up and you know it's all part of promoting yeah. season seven thank you for watching without you we wouldn't be here hey! oh my god it's so beautiful you can't help it hi give me some sugar thanks who's, for coming who's in. skinnier me or you <laughs> you know what's kind of funny we're the same age yes we've also lost a bunch of weight and uh and everyone looks and says Wow. Plus, we're also now in the Radio Hall of Fame. Now, is it? No, hold on. Are you already in there? I don't know. I don't, I've never heard of it until this year. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't? I've never heard of the... They said, hey, you're up for this. I'm like, what is it? Well, no, here's the thing. Okay. What, is, what is it? Because then you are like me. Awards don't mean a lot. What means a lot is our everyday work and the people that we support. You've got like 150 people in here. <laughs> Just don't tell anybody. <laughs> you know, but I was inducted like six years ago. It, it was around six years ago. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. The Lone Ranger, Jack Benny, Tom Joyner, um, Jesus. Jesus is in there? <laughs> 
Limbaugh, oh. who, by the way, was there the night that I was inducted to, to induct. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you and Rush had a lot to say to each other. <laughs> uh, I mean, he was wearing the flashiest outfit ever. I was like, okay, okay. So this Radio Hall of Fame thing is a big deal, and I should be taking it a little more seriously. You know what? Do you have children? No. No. Not yet. You will. And when you have children, and your children go to that museum, that'll mean a lot. I never the, thought of it that way. The, the, like, the night, did you go when you were inducted? No, no, no they just said, I'm in, I'm being inducted on, in October. No, November. 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 No, November. November. Elvis, get the date and go. I'm going, I'm going to get a table. <laughs> like, don't be disrespectful. <laughs> no, 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 I'm going. No, no, I'm so excited. I've had so many people congratulate me, and I keep saying, for what? You'll have rubber okay. chicken. I love rubber <laughs> chicken. <laughs> And look, you'll you'll bring your lover or lovers. I'm not judging. Just one for now. Okay. <laughs> Maybe by and, then. And by the way, Wendy tried to pick him up. I was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> He's cute. He's okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's okay. But look, you'll go and you'll have a good time. Well, thank you. And it's not it's not for us and our generation. And be happy that you're still viable while you're being inducted because a lot of the people who were inducted are now dead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that's a compliment. <laughs> Look, enough about this. Let's talk about something that we, something else we have in common. Season seven. We just oh. got back from vacation and came back to work. And so, how long were you out before Monday happens when season seven kicks in? Yeah, Elvis, I've been off for like a month and a half. Isn't it great? I, no. You miss you miss the work. <laughs> Elvis, luck. What is that? Oh my God! That's the scarf you gave me from Hermes. Oh, that is, I told isn't that you I so had fantastic? it framed. She framed the Aww. scarf we gave her. Oh, that's such a good idea. It's all black girls with bathing caps on the scarf. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and he got it for me, and at first I was like, "Should I take this away?" But then I was like, "No, you were speaking to me, and this is a collector's. Like, you can't buy this now." No, it's a real deal. Because we and, love you, Wendy. And I got it stretched, framed, and thank you, Elvis. Oh, you're very oh, well. I oh, love how you, it framed. You told me you had it framed. Framed. I, I, at least the moths can't get to it, so that's good. <laughs> okay, so what does it mean for you to be going back to work Monday, season seven begins? What's what's that like for you? It's a big deal. Talk about it. It's a, it's a pretty big deal. You know, um, thank you, everyone who's listening, for watching our show and supporting uh, you know, seven seasons of any show, whether it's daytime, nighttime, overnight, three o'clock in the morning, big deal. People lose patience so often these days with, um, with TV and jeez, well, that could be my son. My <laughs> Do you want to answer it? Do you want to pick my, that up? Uh, no, I'm not. No, I, no, I can't. No. <laughs> what? Just in case. It might be an emergency. No. You know, we can connect it to the board and do it live on the end. <laughs> no, oh, wow. Oh, no. No, okay. That's not Did you miss up a good call? No, it's okay. All right, all right. Okay. <laughs> oh, so season, seven. season seven. No, Elvis, thank you, you know, for supporting and whatnot. Oh, and everyone, you know, listening. And um, It's a big deal. It, it, especially, you know what? Talk shows these days are panels or two people, or three people, or five people, or eight people, or what, whatnot. It, you know, gone are the days where there's one host, and people get pissed when I go on vacation, but they don't get it. It's not like I can say, all right, I'm going on vacation, and somebody else will take over. You know, it becomes a rerun. And rerun reruns start normally in May, mm -hmm. and they go until September when you come back for your new season. That's TV. But... But I've elected to go until the end of July, and because I love doing the show, and I, you know, hot topics are topical. Like we, right. have, we have to talk about stuff. When you what? do go on vacation, you get yelled at. Like we get yelled at, and yes! I'll tell you why. It's the ultimate compliment. Yes, it yes, is. It, it is. Yes. Even though they get belligerent, they they do, and they curse you out something dirty. Mm -hmm. They curse you out so much they How curse dare you, you in. How dare you, Wendy Williams, take a vacation? How dare you leave us here alone? <laughs> Yeah, but, but they love you. Yeah, and I, I just want to say something real quick. When Wendy had me on as her guest, and I've been on several shows, this and that, I have never felt the energy I felt on your show. Thank you. The audience, the music, awesome. The lights, yeah. Wendy, me, we were all kind of in sync together. The it was, DJ Suzanne, it, 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 it's it, yeah, it's crazy. I can't wait to get back to the show. What makes it number one? What makes it so huge? Are we number one? You're number one. <gasps> Congratulations. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> um, you know, the energy of the Wendy Watchers, and then 
I, you know, I'm not a polished journalist, you know, Elvis. If you want po polished journalism, <laughs> then maybe you'll watch a different show. Right. I'm just a, a girl from Jersey who likes to have fun. And I don't care whether I trip over the rug or, you know, stutter my words or my wig starts to slide. You're keeping it real. Laughing <laughs> You're keeping it real. A lot. Yes. You're just doing the only thing you know. Yeah, that's You're, it. You, you couldn't do anything else. This yeah. is what you do best. But you said it best once. I come in and tell it like it is, and I go home to Jersey. That's it. That's, that's it. it. Is that, is that's that your it. motto for that's the day? That's it. So Neil Patrick Harris is coming to the show. Cool. Freddie Wap is coming to the show. Like, we have such a diverse, uh, you know, uh, um, yeah. business with relations with uh, celebrities. Uh, from Neil Patrick, like I said, to Fe Freddie Wap. Who would see them both in the same room? Mm -hmm. Well, Fetty Wap, of course, from um, he's from Jersey. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah isn't he from uh, Patterson? Patterson, Patterson yeah, Jersey. Patterson. He's right up the street. I think I called him Freddy. So white girl, Ocean Town. <laughs> <laughs> This is Betty. why you are loved because you are you. Hi. Thank you, Wendy. Thank Bye. Tristan, what'd you think? It was great. I got to see Elvis in the flesh. Oh, you've never met him? Oh my gosh. He's a legend, right? Uh, uh, didn't we all? Well, I didn't, but Elvis got to New York in like maybe 90, 1990, 1988. Elvis is a big deal, okay? And he's syndicated. Elvis rules morning radio in a large part of this country. And he's a cool guy, you know? And he's always been a supporter. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> I had my Wonder Woman costume for about 15 years and every chance I get to break it out, I love it. So last week I broke it out, I went to the largest comic book convention in America, Comic Con. Take a look. Here I am, Comic Con, the Jacob Javits Convention Center, New York City. I've never been here before. But I hear there's lots of makeup, tons of wigs, and outrageous costumes. These are my kind of people. All I have to do is get my spin on. Let's go. Uh, now, that's better. Let's go socialize. Hey, Wendy. Hey, how, how you doing? doing? How you doing? There is another Wonder Woman here. She's disrespecting the costume with blue hair and not official tissue. But she's cute, so come on. <laughs> Hello, oh. Wendy. How you doing? I'm a huge Wonder Woman fan. I've been a huge Wonder Woman fan okay. my whole entire life. I made the, the breastplate, I made the belt. You look terrific. Thank you so much. You look fabulous, and I'm a huge fan. Wait, what, you, you created cleavage, but you also have a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> It looks sexy. I think it looks sexy, doesn't it? It does look sexy. I know I'm weird, but I love that weird attracts weird. This is weird. And I'm in the building. What? The foliage is going on. Who are you? I am the Swamp Thing. Now, how long did it take for you to make your costume? Well, to grow my costume only took four months. Who are you? The Predator. The Predator? Yes. Oh. Let me see your nails. Lovely. Mm -mm. Not today, devil. Not today. And now, who are you? I'm Shiro. I'm one of the Pelicans. Shiro, okay. And Hunk. Uh, and Hunk. I've met my Hunk. My hunk has arrived. Do you all have girlfriends or wives? You? Okay, you keep this up. It ain't happening, honey. I love the love. Wow, what a nice behind. And your pa your package is interesting. <laughs> I can tell 
this is a better way back to Jersey than a car because the traffic is hell. Being Wonder Woman is a tough business and really exhausting. But I want to thank the fans and the rest of the Justice League for representing. How are you doing? Welcome back. Well, it's been a fabulous first week in our brand new studio. It already feels like home. And earlier this week, I hit the streets of my new neighborhood to say, how you doing? To my neighbors. And I even wore my special Wendy wig cam so I wouldn't miss a trick. Take a look. <laughs> I am so excited. New studio, new neighborhood, fourth season. I've got my wig cam. All right, it's on. Right, well, come on, let's go ask the new neighbors. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? So I've heard great things about this barber shop. Everybody in the neighborhood's talking. The owner's name is Uri, and he does hair, he repairs shoes, and he fixes jewelry. Plus, I heard he plays the clarinet. So did I in high school. Let's go check it out. Hi, I'm Wendy. New to the hey, neighborhood. Hi. Uri, is that you? Yes. Hi. hi I've heard great things about your shop. Well, let me ask you, which celebrity has the biggest feet? Smokey Robinson. Smokey Robinson? Yeah. You know, he's been to our show before. Oh, yeah? Listen, I heard you also play the clarinet. Yeah, I do. Can you play the Wendy theme song? Yeah. Shout it out. <laughs> so good. Listen, I'm going to give you a How You Doing t-shirt. It's, oh, it's very masculine with a V-neck. Beautiful. I love that. How you doing? Shout it out. Hurry. I'm gonna see you at the studio, okay? The tickets are free, we're right down the street. Have a good day, bye-bye. How you doing? Hi, neighbor. Hey, how, how are you doing? All right. They tell me that you've got the best fruit. Yep. So, do you get uh, a celebrity clientele? Yeah, they yeah. are. And do you care to name drop? A secret. A secret. Another secret. What's the most popular celebrity fruit? Banana. Figures. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. Well, hello. My name is Wendy, and I'm new to the neighborhood. Welcome to the neighborhood. And you name it, we frame it. This pair of shoes was hanging on the wall in my old office, but now that we're in a new neighborhood right down the street, I want them framed. If you want, you can wear them, and I'll frame you with them. <laughs> I've got a T-shirt from the show for you. How you doing? I'm doing. How you doing? We're going to be besties. I'm in. I'll see you in four days. Bye, Eddie. How you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh, your nails. How you doing, girl? Ugh. These are my baby. <laughs> my girl. Hi. This is one of the most popular falafel carts in the city. And it happens to be right here in our neighborhood. That's it, I'm good. Wrap me up. I, it's very hot in here. So I'm gonna give you one of my diva fans from my show. It says, how you doing? What? Now you say, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? What? No, uh, how you doing? How you doing? Do it like me. How you doing? How you doing? No, look at my face. How you doing? How you doing? No, do it. How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Thank you. How you doing? Thank you. How are you doing? I had so much fun. I love my new neighborhood. I'm really excited. Season four of the show. We're going to be really happy here. And this food smells so good. I'm going upstairs to eat. <laughs> I love my new neighborhood. And some of my neighbors are here in the audience. How you doing? <laughs> So, Eddie, I dropped the shoes off at You Name It, We Frame It, yes. and uh, they're here. I haven't seen them yet, but our art director, Michael Lee, is going to do the unveil, right, Michael? You ready? Okay, drum roll, please. Hold on, hold on to something, okay. because you're going to fall. Okay. Oh, good job! Thanks, Eddie. They came out great. I'm going to hang them in my dressing room.
Morning Rum, and you can check them out on the after show. Oh my, oh my gosh, God. I'm gonna be so happy in this neighborhood. Come visit me if you'd like to. The tickets are free. We're right here on 26th Street. And we'll be right back. Hey, come on in. I think we're the only ones on the bus right now. So what I love about this bus is that it's so at home. And after being on the road for two weeks, it truly is a home away from home. There's leather, and there's wood, and there's granite, and it's really, this is my first time being on a tour bus, so as far as I'm concerned, this is the most luxurious place ever. This is my favorite seat. I love, this is where I like to sit, I put my feet up, I sit next to our daytime Emmy for best hair, we beat out the prices right in the view and whatnot, and Ellen, um, and I like to hold court here, and talk on the telephone, and this is the kitchen. Here's our little sink hideaway. What I love about being on the road is that Wendy Watchers have given me some really fabulous stuff. Look, a Wendy Watcher made that. If only my waist was that small. Anyway, um, come on back. Here's the bathroom and whatnot. We have a side-by-side -side refrigerator. Now, I've been bragging to you guys that it sleeps 12 people. I want to show you that it actually does. Now, we don't actually sleep on the bus, but we're on the bus whenever we go from city to city. If it's five hours or under, then, we sleep, then we're on the bus. I don't sleep because I have too much energy. I'm constantly running up and down the halls and doing things. But look at the there's one, two, three, four, five, six beds. And then there's six more right here. And in here, because we don't sleep in them, most of them are empty, but some of them have things in them. Let's just take a look at this one right here. Oh, it's my son. Hi, baby. It's really comfortable here on the road. And for instance, like this one is full of some shoes. Road life is great because my hair, makeup, and wardrobe people are all with me. So. You know, when it comes time for, you know, putting together outfits, I mean, she's right here. I don't, there's not much thinking that I have to do. When it comes time for my hair, Antoine is here. And my makeup, Morel is here. Right now, they're in the mall. So, their little hangout should be empty. Come on in. Uh-huh. Empty. Smelling of incense. Anyway, we come back here. Believe it or not, it's very cozy and comfortable back here. We sit back here. And we, we play spades, we play dominoes, we do Shakitha's hair, we do each other's hair, we paint nails, we have a good time. We stop at rest stops, and then people see the big pink bus, and then people react. Some people know who we are, you know who I am, and some people don't. But either way, there's nothing like a pink bus to attract attention. I love tour life, but I'm so glad there's a beginning, middle, and end. And the end is September 2nd. And then we begin season three of The Wendy Show, September 12th. More wigs, more celebrity guests, more of the messiness you stop by for. It's The Wendy Williams Show. So the legendary Kenny Rogers recently celebrated his 50 years in show business with a taping of an upcoming TV special. And lots of his famous friends were there, including Dolly Parton, Lionel Richie, and Winona. They all came out to celebrate his life, and I was lucky enough to have an exclusive backstage pass. Take a look. So happy to be here. In Connecticut, it's MGM Grands at Foxwoods. It's Kenny Rogers' 50th anniversary celebration in showbiz. This is gonna be so big. Winona, Dolly, Smokey, they're all gonna be here. I'm so excited. Come on in. They're rehearsing now. Uh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> and then you count it back in. One, two, three. There's Chris Isaac. That's good. Hi. Back at you, baby. Oh, it's nice to see you again. Good to see you. Your country. I had to work with a vocal coach to get rid of my twang. Because usually I talk like this. Hey, you kids, get off that car. I hear that. Don't make me come down off that porch. Wendy, give me my switch. <laughs> There's Sheena Easton, still sexy. Sheena! Oh, good to see you, girl. Oh, you tilted my 
my wig when you had me. You look beautiful. Your hair, the whole bit. And this is going to be a terrific show. Look at all that talent down there. I haven't seen Lionel in years. I haven't seen Dolly in years. Smokey. I mean, it's just so much talent. You walk out there and you go, oh. This is absolutely A-list country music gold. <gasps> Dolly! How you doing? Oh, good, good. to see you. Oh. You're big and I'm little. Look at so you. We're both big sword and place. Yes, uh-huh. <laughs> Forgive me for staring, Dolly, but you want to know what? They are not as big in I person know, as they think that I'm like you. You're a beautiful How woman. Much do you pay for you? About 7,000. <laughs> we share a similar style, the gaudy. I've always been very flashy. You can't get too colorful or too too many stones, too much jewelry. I love that. I was reading um, an article and I actually shared it with my audience. That you were saying that you got your look from the local prostitute when you were a little girl. That's true. Well, she was the town tramp and everybody said she was trash and I thought she was beautiful. You said that when you stay in hotels, <laughs> that you like to sleep with your wig right there at your night table because if there is a fire, your fans expect to see a certain dolly that they know. Well, yeah, because you know all the news people are going to be there if there's a fire. Yeah. I got my shoes there. Uh -huh. I would carry them down the fire escape and put them on when I hit the street. Yeah. If you're going to be a star, you better just be ready to look like one. You got to be a star all, all the time. You're <laughs> here to be a part of your dear friend Kenny I Rogers' 50 years celebration in showbiz. Well, we're like friends. We're like brother and sister. We're like partners. It's really kind of a marriage of its own. Yeah. In his own unique way. Happy anniversary, Kenny. Love you, Dolly. We're rehearsing while doing his beautiful wife, Wanda, was sitting in the audience. Yes. And Sheena Easton was up there singing with Kenny, and she was going like this. And it's like a high and school I reunion. Down, I said, Let's go whoop her. <laughs> <laughs> How dare she touch our man? We share him. Before we go, your boobs. You have names for what? them? Shock and awe. <laughs> Yours. I don't name them, but oh, I heard you, you named them. I wanted to show you something, Miss Gordon. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Yes, like me for Halloween, right? Boy, well, you look better than I do. Look, yeah. I pulled my waist to within well, an inch did. of its life. Look at that. That is beautiful. I, oh, you need the cheap big wig and the padded bra. But you say cheap, and everybody thinks the cheap doesn't cost. But as you always say. It's true. It costs a lot to look that cheap. Uh, yeah. Yup. Thank you, Dolly Parton. Thank you. What a Bye, weird everybody. hug when two big boob what? girls hug. Let's go this way. <laughs> nice to see such you. Such a weird nice. hug. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Miss Parton. Bye. She's a nice lady, and she seems like a good woman. Here they come. Uh-oh. It's so fun to have your own show. You get to meet so many good people. We're pulling off from the Wendy studio, and we're on our way to my aunt in my head, Joy Behar. I actually do have an aunt who acts a lot like Joy. That would be my Aunt Marilyn. <clears throat> You know, that big mouth, that say it like you mean it attitude that you love so much. But her talk show is new on TLC and she films it in her house. I'm hyperventilating at just the thought, all these strangers coming in her house. Now she co-hosts it with three other girls. One of them is a woman who I really respect and admire, the comedian Susie Yesman. But past Susie and the two other girls, now you've got to have cameramen and light men, and there's got to be at least 10 strangers in her house. Plus, I'm coming with one, two, three, Tristan, four. N not you. You, you, you watch the car. <laughs> but she has five other people. So there's got to be like 20 strangers in Joy's house. I just can't. I know I'm not creepy for being so private, but I find it fascinating. I might turn out to interview her as opposed to her interview me. <laughs> Like, what made you decide to do this in your house? It's interesting. And I wonder what room we'll sit in. Will we be in her bedroom? <laughs> Will we be in her living room? Sometimes if you live in New York, you don't have a living room and dining room separate. You know, it's all one, you know, hodgepodge. Will we be in her kitchen? But a lot of New York apartments don't have sit-in kitchens. Well, we can't be on the balcony because it's raining. I don't know that she has a balcony. Is it a walk up? Do we have to climb stairs? I'm wearing flats just in case. I mean, I bought my heels, they're in my bag. 
Nicole, do we walk up steps? I don't believe so. Well, Carrie Bradshaw walked up steps <laughs> for several years in our lives, and I used to look at it, and every time she'd walk up those steps, I'm like, mm -mm. if I ever lived in New York, I would never do steps. There'd have to be a doorman and two elevators, just in case one breaks. That's it. Carrie would run up those steps. And how do you move in when you have to run up all those steps? The movers, they gotta have strong backs. I wonder if she'll have a snack. Well, we're going to her house. I think I'm supposed to bring her a gift. Oh my gosh, we're going to someone's house. I don't have a gift. Okay, she can have these after I wear them. Wait, what size is she wearing? <laughs> um, anyway, it's very exciting, yet intrusive. We're going to Joy Behar's house for her brand new talk show on TLC. So we'll see how all that turns out. Fancy. That view money must be good, honey. <laughs> mm. Everybody's friendly. Look, you're having all a pizza party. party. There's a pizza party for the building. Everybody's all friendly. And you say New Yorkers are mean. Your camera's really close. You look good. All right. Don't worry. So Thomas, are the cameras all set up? Yeah, we're all set up. Everybody's waiting for you. Excellent. <laughs> So, so I know Susie, I don't know the other two girls. So Joy, well no, one of the girls isn't here, so it's just gonna be Joy, Susie, and Alex. Do we have snacks? We can get you snacks? No, I don't want snacks. <laughs> I just I just wanted to know, because I didn't bring anything they're either, well, so it's well, perfect. I didn't bring a housewarming gift, and she has no snacks. I was only joking, are we gonna be in her bedroom? Look, here's a bed. Wendy, I've actually slept in this bed. So this is a guest room? Yeah. It's Susie Yesman. Hi. Susie. Um, we have to, uh, you changed your hair. Well, I mean, I wear wigs. Oh, okay, there you go. I was going to say, because it's lighter. No, no, it's always light. But it's short. Don't you? That's what it is. It's short, yeah. and sometimes you have bangs. Well, you know, a wig is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Because your husband can always feel like he's sleeping with a different yeah. woman. Exactly. <laughs> Remember there was that all in the family? Where Gloria put on a blonde wig and Meathead was going crazy because he felt like he was he was he was cheating on her. <laughs> oh, Susie. So is Joy here? Yes. Yes. She's probably in a. Cool so this room is the green room because we are all very hot all the time. Yeah. As you know. Uh, yeah. Well, not yet, but sometime, every once in a while. I'm still young and juicy. We went out to dinner last night and ended up sitting next to Liza. Oh my gosh. I know, it was so funny. And we told her you were coming on today. This, uh, this is, is she, only our second show. Liza Persky? Yes. Oh, you met, you met Liza Persky? She's one of my producers. Right. I thought you met Liza Minnelli. No, 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 Liza Persky. And the way you said it, I'm like, oh my God. No, I'm not that no, fancy. Liza Minnelli. I'd, I'd rather sit next to Liza Persky. Oh, she's fun. Because I love her. So, I don't know, what, uh, what are we, what Where's are you doing? Who are you? I'm Mike, Wendy Security. Oh, you're security. Okay, I was gonna say, you look scary to me. So that's a good thing. Not that something's going to happen here, but say the car breaks <laughs> yes. down. Yes, in Joy's apartment. And <laughs> security. In her fabulous, <laughs> but if the car breaks down and I need to be carried someplace. I am all for security. <laughs> I'm all for security. You never know. Uh, where's Joy? Hi, Wendy. Hi, Joy. Hi, darling. How are Hi. you? Hi. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's lovely to have you here. Your hair looks good. Thank you, I know. It's a bad hair day, too. It looks good. It's keratin, honey. I was going to say it looks thinner, but in a good way. Normally, your hair is a lot bigger. Well, I have a different hairdresser today. <laughs> that must be the reason. Yeah. No, but the keratin also, it, you know, straightens oh, things it out. It does, it does. Is Steve here, too? No, he, he, he very smartly decided to stay away because there's so many people have taken over my house. But I counted the people, when we were driving over here, I'm like, okay, so she's got four, um, three co-hosts, one of them's not here. Okay, fine, that's three people. Then you gotta have a cameraman, at least two cameramen. Two, it's like 14. It's like 19. There's a so lighting. many cameramen, and lighting. Then, and then I'm bringing five people, sorry, including me. The entourage. Well, are you a rapper? <laughs> <laughs> Practically. <laughs> But, but look, so there's like 25 or 30 people here in your apartment right now. I know. And if, they, if I see one coffee cup... That's what I'm thinking. I just, I've been cleaning them up. I just, I walk had, around cleaning I just them. had a meltdown because so I saw coffee. If all you have to do is knock it over, and that's the end of my run. And yesterday they already know why not. I will, I will strangle somebody. I could never do this. No, I'm not doing it again. This is it. Wait, 
So <laughs> how often are you filming here in the what are with the whole show? It's like, all the whole, I can't go into details. Nobody ever comes to our house, which is why this whole thing is making me break out. Of well, I would never let anybody get them to my house. <laughs> Thank they you, Susie. They me to do photo shoots at my house. Uh, this one, the L magazine, but you're not coming to my home. Exactly. Even though it's gorgeous and it would look beautiful in a spread. Uh, that's you're not what I coming said. to my home. Well, thanks a lot, girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, like, you, you don't... Uh, this oh, is look, a, everybody now who's listening to this around us feels unwelcome here. <laughs> well, you're not welcome. Get out. <laughs> they feel unwelcome. And I don't want them to feel unwelcome. But if somebody drops coffee, they will be kicked out of this house. By the way, Joy, the Did wine you, stain came up. I just looked at it. It was white wine. Yeah. Did you put away your lalique? I don't have any of that crap. I don't do that. Okay, so don't do they put away anything that was important. Exactly. She yeah. has like my husband. He's not here. You know what? She has a four-year-old grandson, so she's right. used to that. You got to child-proof the house. You oh, know right. what's different when a kid drops something? The kid's different. These are adults leaving coffee around. No. <laughs> this entire scene is weird to me. Just because I'm in your house. All right, let's go inside. All right, okay. Come on. All right. You need a touch? Up? No, I'm good. No. Susie, you, you guys talk me through my lip gloss. So let me just. Go home, everybody. Let me redo. <laughs> oh my God. The idea, I just, I could never do it. I can you know I'm creepy. I can't tell you the amount of magazines, one most recently, and they tried to convince me, oh, they want to come in the house, and I'm like, nope, a really prestigious one. Tristan, I'll tell you in your ear, and then you react for the after show. Wow. Oh. No, I'm not doing that. That would've been a good one. Yeah, and, yeah, and enough, enough with that coming in the house with a camera. Even the after show's only been to your backyard. Right. <laughs> and I asked you not to move the camera, just keep it right there. <laughs> when, she'll, when you come in, Joy, you'll bring the bell, Joy will bring you into the living room. Okay. So you could react to help me thinking doing this. If you want. Be, oh my God. It's crazy. Oh, Would I you know. ever? I know. So, oh. just broad topics, but we want to. This is all production. Look at the wires come here. Look at the wires. There was, there was, there was, oh my God. Three, two, one. Everybody get out. This would drive me crazy. All right, look, I have to go. We're about to start our production. If you want to see more, just watch the show on TLC. It should be a riot. <laughs> Earlier this week, I visited my hometown of Asbury Park, New Jersey to see how they're holding up after the devastation from Hurricane Sandy. Take a look. Hurricane Sandy has brought devastation to many people all along the East Coast. Some people lost power, some people lost their homes, and some people even lost their lives. You know, one of the hardest hit areas was the Jersey Shore. The Jersey Shore is what I call home. So I've come back to my home, Asbury Park, New Jersey. And I'm standing here on the boardwalk, a place that I can recall spending ugh, lots of time as a child. I graduated from high school right here at Convention Hall. These are my roots and I wanna meet with the mayor, Mayor Ed Johnson, and find out what has happened to my town, Asbury Park. Oh, Welcome mayor. to Asbury Park. Thank you, mayor. Welcome home. Thank you. It's good yeah. to be here. We're glad you're here. Uh, we took a punch here in Asbury Park in terms of the damage here to our boardwalk, our beaches, and then also throughout town as well. Uh, we found pieces of our boardwalk two blocks out. Uh, the water crashed through. It breached the pavilions and convention hall, and also the sheer force of it picked up huge metal containers and pushed them two blocks inland. And, uh, you know, the force of it was just amazing. The only thing that has really um, overshadow the devastation has been the determination of the people that live here on yeah. the Jersey Shore. But we, uh, we look forward to having everything up back to 100% very soon. Now, in terms of the first responders, I know that, you know, Asbury Park, terrific police department and fire department. Absolutely. Our men and women in Asbury Park, our Department of Public Works, our police and our fire, did a tremendous job of uh, addressing life-threatening issues immediately. So we owe a, a tremendous amount of gratitude and respect to them for everything they did. Firehouse is still on Main Street. I'd love to go by there and, Absolutely. and meet those first responders. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> Listen, I was just with Mayor Johnson and he was saying how you all did such a really great job. I know the whole city of Asbury Park appreciates it. 
I appreciate it. And I'm on my way to give some barbecue to the wonderful people at the Springwood Center. So I wanted to know if you wanted to have lunch with us also. Yeah. Yeah. There's one catch. I need a ride. Come on, how about it? You want it? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Let's go. town of Asbury Park has been through a lot, as well as the whole Jersey Shore. It was part of my duty as a daughter of the town to come and just spread some good cheer, if just for a moment, to put a smile on you all's faces. And I'm so glad to be here, home yeah. in Asbury Park. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. So I brought with me the food. <laughs> I hope you can eat all that. Hi, Hi Mom. Wendy. How are you? How are you guys holding up? We have to be thankful. There are people in um, just locally around us who lost everything. We lost power for nine days, groceries, stuff we can get back. They told me you lost everything. There were 20 inches of water in all of the downstairs apartments. Yes. That was me. So about three quarters of my belongings, you know, are, are underwater. Wow. My family has been wonderful. They came. They moved me out. I didn't stay, of course. We all evacuated. I'm living yes. with my daughter. It was scary. All I could tell you was frightening. Oh, we never went through nothing like that. It was horrible. I was scared for her because she has asthma. It was cold. Did you have your pump? Yes. yes. Thank God. Did you have extra pump? So, mm -hmm. so now, mm -hmm. it was just, I can't even explain how scary it was. First of all, the city was pitch black. I couldn't see anything. We had candles. We was just trying to get by. Were your neighbors all cooperative with one another? Yes, that's the thing. Everybody came out, you know, community. Yeah. People that you ain't speak to in years, yes. you know, <laughs> helping out and everything. So that part was good to see the community come together. Yeah. It's really tough seeing my hometown hurting from the effects of this superstorm, Sandy. But I know that when you're from Asbury Park, you are tough and you are resilient and we will rise again. We don't let things like this stop us. So rock on, Asbury. There are better days ahead. And I will be back to enjoy those days also. Thank you. And how you doing? <laughs> Help those affected by Hurricane Sandy. Thank you. So we're on our way, and um, it looks very nice. Thank you. It's very warm. Well, it's very cold here in New York. I wasn't exactly sure what to do. Do you wear a coat? coat? Do you wear a scarf on your shoulders? By lunchtime, it's supposed to be, I think, 70 degrees. Lunchtime is noon, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, by then I'll be back in the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, be very clear. Uh, this is my day off um, of doing our Wendy show, but you know, work really never stops. It doesn't stop for me, it doesn't stop for most of my staff, you know, right down to my cameramen who, on their days off, they're always doing something different. You know, I know Doug. Um, does like the country music awards and all kind of other stuff. Brendan does New Year's Rock and Eve every year. Everybody, everybody's got you know side hustle. That's what it's about. You only have one job. Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you. I've got 25. <laughs> and so the purpose of me going to the View today, because you don't go on a talk show unless you have something to promote. Promote. And so um, we're still celebrating, you know, season eight of our show. But um, I have HSN, my clothing line, debuts. We have to get the dates down. It's November 5th. November 5th. Right. 2 to 4 p.m. 2 to 4 p.m. What day of the week is that? Saturday. 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 And then again, 7 to 9 p.m. See? 2 to 4 and then 7 to 9 um, on November 5th. I'm debuting my, um, my 
winter outerwear line. I've already had, you know, trenches and things like that, but I'm very excited about that. And you know, you work hard, you know, but when a tree falls in the woods, if nobody hears it, then did it fall, <laughs> you know? No, oh, I believe that was your baby my, monitor. My cell phone, yeah. Oh. So I'm gonna be promoting, you know, just celebrating and being grateful for season eight of our talk show and talking about HSN and chopping it up with the girls. They always like to do hot topics. You know, they were, they're the original hot topic show. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just having fun. Now, Whoopi is off today and Sonny Hostin is off today. Uh, Joy is there. Who else is going to be there? So it's Sarah Haynes. Sarah. Paula Ferris. Okay. Raven. Jadaya. Joy Behar. It's gonna be them five. And then, um, Okay, the six of us. Do you know whether I'm, <laughs> this is very important, you know, um, and I'm not the only one that does that, so welcome to behind the scenes of behind the scenes. Do you know whether I'm gonna be sitting at the table talking with them or on the couch? You're right at the table. Okay. No, because I have a lot of leg, so I'm ready for the couch. <laughs> I'm ready. Good shoe, a lot of leg. But okay, so I'll be at the table. Mm -hmm. Now, I remember last time I was at The View, because even though I'm the, the biggest one in the room at five feet 11, it's only leg, 40 inches. My torso is shorter than everybody. So as soon as I sat down, I'm speaking right now in the back, um, my publicist and also my assistant, Jackie Lurker. the Lurker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember what you're well, about to say. <clears throat> you had like a, a booster seat they had to bring you out right and it was like a last minute thing but so can we make sure that we don't make that you part of the conversation and if they just have you know that was part of the conversation last time we were there it was like oh wendy you're you know you're sitting so low and then by the time we got the seat ready then they already chopped into it look i got 10 minutes to promote <laughs> okay i know how this works i got a talk show i'm not gonna spend three minutes talking about a seat so if you can let them yeah i watched that actually no. Exactly yeah, just a little pillow to boost me up so I'm as tall as the rest of the girls when I sit down. Um, and the view has really good stuff in the green room. Memsor is a fan of all of the different nutty, crunchy, granola-y things. And, you know, we eat a few things there, but there's always room in our bags. <laughs> I know how this works. We'll probably talk about Halloween too. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to be. You'll just have to tune in. We're going to have our Halloween show. You know, I'm not big into Halloween. I'm not even going to front and pretend. But I just know being on for eight seasons, there was one season, maybe three years ago, where I did not participate. Everyone else was dressed <laughs> like the party in the audience, you know, because we ask our, you know, co hosts on Halloween show, you know, dress up. And then Michael Lee, my art director, does a fabulous job of dressing up the studio. And everyone on the staff is dressed up. And then the man goes, and here's Wendy. And I come out in a blouse and pencil skirt. I didn't dress up, because I'm not into it. Did I feel bad? Yeah, 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 I did. I did, I did feel uh, bad. Because I could have taken one for the team. And just, you know, just go along. I love Halloween. It's you're weird, Jackie. <laughs> Even my cats have costumes. Of course they do. I actually hate Halloween too. Thank you. And when I when I first started dating Margot, she loves Halloween, it's mm. her favorite holiday, so then I had to pretend like I loved it too for the first year. <laughs> <laughs> and I hated it. And then we went on a boat in the Hudson River. I was a hot dog. A what? A hot dog. <laughs> And we got stuck in this boat for like two hours. Okay. And it was the worst. But I... You had your wine? Beer, yep. And yep. We, we got through it. Yeah. And then I told her afterwards, I'm like, I'm never trusting up again. And what'd she say? Aw, I'm not going to marry you. No, she, she, she's married me anyway. So. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> now, now that you have a child... Uh-oh. Okay, see the glams are in the car behind us. Oh, you had it and then it... Okay, yeah, okay. Okay, so now, 
now that you have a child. Now we'll be into you it. Gotta, you know, you gotta get back into it. Yeah, I have to dress up too, I guess. So, what are you gonna be this year? A hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Got the costume. Listen, it was 30 bucks. I'm gonna get the best use out of it as I can. <laughs> and will you dress Max up? Yeah, he's gonna be a lion. Because he loves uh Simba. Uh huh. So we're gonna dress him up as a lion. Now will Margot be a French fry or a hamburger? <laughs> or a pickle? Ketchup. Oh ketchup. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not gonna tell you what I'm going to be, but I have to tell you, um, there were suggestions given by the show. And while I don't mind listening to suggestions, I like making my own final decision. I, I'm, I was uh, surprised by this decision. Oh yes! It, it caught, I was, I don't think I could ever would have guessed it coming from you. Uh, me, not me and Kevin, not me yeah. and, and this, the show. This is me at home minding my own business saying, okay, damn it, here comes Halloween. God, what am I gonna be? And to me, to, for me, Halloween means it's like a chance for you to get out there and shake it, if you know what I'm saying. But without shaking too much. I have a good costume. And now that, uh, you know, the staff understands what I want to be, Michael Lee is in there. He's going to, you know, he's going to turn it out. It actually gives him a lot to work with. Yeah, uh-huh. And make it different than the years past. Yeah. Which would be nice. And so, um... Later on today, I was going to, well, after the view, I was going to go back to our studio to change back into my street clothes before going back to Jersey, but I actually have some food being sent over to, to Suzanne's office for she and I to have lunch together, and I want to tell her what I think she should be for Halloween. Give a suggestion to go along with the theme. Tristan, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, she, she's in with it. She'll play. Yeah. Is it okay? It's, it will be. Okay. It's not gonna pop open, is it? <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not our show, so we won't get fired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, tricks of the trade, um, there are many of them, but I would say the biggest thing is always carry safety pins. Silver ones and black ones. It's a black one. Of course, of course it is. Black. Black and, is better. Yes, and large ones and smaller ones. This is a medium sized safety pin situation operation. Yes, and what he's doing is he's just closing up the top of my um, dress. For decency. Right, it's not the club, it's the view. I'm waiting for um, Kevin to text me what he wanted from Whole Foods. You know, cause he can be in the middle of history class and all of a sudden say, I want natural almonds. <laughs> and text me, you know, cause kids are allowed to have their phones in class. So I get text all day. Are you going to the grocery store? All right. Well, um, we need more quinoa. <laughs> so it's a beautiful day in von Furstenberg dress with a lot of feminine flounce at the bottom. You can't really see it because I'm sitting, but it really is beautiful. This is for this, this, this season, season, right? This is really beautiful. Up, the flounce at the bottom. All right, do you see? And when I go out there, I'm gonna shimmy and shake. Wait, no, that's the chew. <laughs> <laughs> but I watch them both, and they're both on ABC, so. Wait, what's the View's um, theme song? Feel it, feel it, feel it. <laughs> Come on, I feel it. Anyway, and um, some shoes, and uh, this great hair. Wait, no, these are the flats I came in with. Which are too big. Losing weight in your feet? <laughs> yes, I'm not that. I think so. I'm gonna have a lot of salt today, though. They'll be puffy by Monday. <laughs> I'm wearing these beautiful Manolos, which match perfectly. And uh oh, there's a little rust on my ankle. WD-40. A, a little ashen. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's it. So the producers are about to come in and brief me, and then we'll go out there. And all this preparation for only 10 minutes of camera time. 10 minutes. It lives for eternity. Yeah, it does. We've all been up though since, what time do you wake up? I woke up still 5.30 this morning. I did, 5.30. Um, I was up at 6. Yeah. Been up since 5.30. 
for me. It's 11 o'clock right now. The view has just started live. And uh, I'll be back home and in my robe by, I said one, or 12. But it might be more like two, I'm not sure. And then I'll be in for the weekend. I won't leave the house until Monday, 5.30 <laughs> in the morning. Just the way I like it. Look, I'm about 20 minutes away from going on. I'll see you after the show. All right, it's time to go. One segment, we'll have a lot of fun, and then everyone will go about their business. Jai's going to the gym, Memsor's going for lunch with friends. Barney's. <laughs> Barney's. I don't know what Robin's doing. Making another wig. What are you doing? All up in our business, man. Going, I told you, going home and shutting the blinds. Are you it's, up? it's Friday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Please. <laughs> oh. So it was wonderful. It was fun. I stayed for two segments, and that's how you do it. I'll take off my heels, put on my flats. How many times in the car did we talk about how, low, how small my torso is? <laughs> See, people think that, that that's a joke, though. It's like, people don't really understand. It's a real affliction. <laughs> I'm sorry, is that an affliction? <laughs> it's a condition. It's a, well, it's a real condition. You saw when I sat down, yeah. did you see? <laughs> I'm like this big and they're all, yes. I'm all leg, honey. That's why I give you the thigh when I sit in the Hot Topics chair. It's like one of my best assets. I give you the thigh. What is this? Oh, and I get paid to be here? I forgot about this part. Now let me sign off. <laughs> this is a little whirl around Bloomingdale's. You better work. Okay. <laughs> let me sign off. Come on now, Jackie. You get paid to be on talk shows. Oh, yes. Yeah, whether you're a big star, if Angelina Jolie goes on, you know, Kelly and, and Kelly, <laughs> um, she will get a check. The same size check that I get right here. It's not big, but this will do a little something. <laughs> this can buy me a new, a little wig, Robin. Here, Jax. Thanks. It can make a happy hour for the show afterwards all right onward and outward love you for watching i am uh, going back to the studio i'm going to put on my sweatsuit and i'm going back so being a busy mother a wife the queen of hot topics and a talk show host it's no wonder i needed some rest and relaxation so recently i took some time to luxuriate in the british virgin islands the bvis are a great group of mountainous islands located in the crystal blue waters of the caribbean take a look <laughs> Wendy! Hi, Lynette, is this you? Yes. Thank you so much. Welcome to the British Virgin Islands and to Virgin Gorda and Little Lips Bay Resort. Virgin. Huh. <laughs> First, Wendy, let's get you to your villa. Absolutely, come on. <laughs> I don't know where to start. This is oh. Well, we have three bedrooms. Okay. Do you drink? Uh, no. Good. More for me. <laughs> well, the British Virgin Islands. You know, we have like sixty islands in case that makes up the British Virgin Islands. Wow. Has Jennifer Lopez been here? No. Who would have been here? Paul McCartney and his then girlfriend, now wife. They stayed here. Yes. Oh. Well, this is royalty water. <laughs> Let's walk down to the beach. I've got on my walk to the beach wig. <laughs> How beautiful. It is, really, truly. And I really love the mountain. And we build our homes on top of the mountains. It's a spectacular view. I mean, this is what we wake up to every morning. Yeah, you're really lucky. Oh, my goodness. Look at this view. Welcome to Sun Spa. I'm Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Pleased to meet you. Lisa. I love how you're living. Thank you. <laughs> this infinity pool is great. Wait a minute. They didn't revoke your passport yet. No okay. Why are you all wrapped up? Well, it's good to see you too. Not much to say. Is that your pool wig? It's nice. Well, while you lay here all wrapped up, I'm going to get my spa treatments. Let's meet later for drinks. <laughs> When you get up around my shoulders, I just want you to know I'm not removing my wig. <laughs> That's okay. Everybody's curious about what's under the wig. Do many celebrities come here? 
Yes, they do. Like who? We're not allowed to say. I'll take you out drinking with me and Chiquita tonight if you tell me. <laughs> Has Kate Hudson ever been here? Can't say. Goldie Hawn. I'm sorry. Do you know Jennifer Lopez? Yes, I do. I've seen her. Seen her where? Oh, on television. You almost slipped up. You've seen her on no. this table, haven't you? <laughs> no. I've seen her on television. I'm Lang. We're J-Lo Laid. Was she with Mark Anthony? Or Puffy? <laughs> so why do they call it the baths? What's the deal here? It's the, you see, it's the formation of boulders and it's like thrown together like a volcanic formation. Oh. It's wonderful, Wendy. So what do you have to get rid of those shoes? Oh. Yeah. Okay. I can't believe that there's little to no crime on the island. I literally don't even have a key for my hotel room. I'm gonna leave my shoes there <laughs> and know that they'll be there when I get back. And I'm hoping there's no bugs caught in my walking through the bath wigs. It's called a bath, I'm expecting water. You Where? will see water. Okay. In fact, soon you'll see a beautiful beach. So Wendy, here we are. This was worth the walk. Yes, it was. Is that Chiquita over my shoulder? Oh my God. She needed a getaway also. The NBA lockout has been stressing her. Oh. Uh, she loves ball players. Wow. It's, yeah, well, it's going to be a lean Christmas, so, she, you know. So tell me the celebrities that like to come here and go to the baths. One time we actually saw Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah? Ah. Who's she with? Oh, God, I can't. <laughs> you know what? Even when I'm vacationing, hot topics are always on. <laughs> We're going to leave here and go to Scrub okay. Island. Thank you. Miss Wendy Williams. She yeah. has all the Isn't she beautiful? Shout out to Scrub Island, Tortola, Virgin Gorda, everybody here. I've had a really long day. As you can see, my shoes are in my hands and my libation is in the same hand. So DJ, turn the music back up. I'm ready to have fun with my people. And like I like to say, But first, I want to share something really exciting. As you can see, I fell in love with the BVIs, and now's your chance. I'm giving away 25-day, four-night getaways to the British Virgin Islands during our Watch and Swim sweepstakes. You keep watching the show because every weekday, starting this Thursday, October 27th through November 23rd, I'm going to be announcing a word of the day. <clears throat> and it happens somewhere throughout the show, so you'll have to pay close attention, okay? Then, after you hear what you think is your word of the day, you're going to go to wendyshow.com to enter the word for your chance to win. Grab your swimsuit, don't forget your sunscreen, and a good wig, because you've been watching the show long enough, then you know I love a good prank. <laughs> My middle name is Joke. And since Halloween is just a few days away, I decided to play a few tricks on some unsuspecting Wendy watchers at Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. Take a look. Yeah. <laughs> I moved my eyeballs. I gotta work on that. Listen, I'm here at Madame Tussauds, New York. And what we've told Wendy watchers is that they're unveiling my wax figure today. So there are people here lined up to see it. Little do they know, it's not wax, it's really me, and I'm gonna scare the crap out of them. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> How you doing? Oh! How you doing? Oh, wow. Come on in. Oh, oh my God! That is unbelievable. One, two, three. Boo! Are you a Wendy fan? Yes. Okay. I want you to give me your best. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> okay. Can you, you want a picture? Awesome. Okay. Oh Ready? One, two. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
One, two, three. All right. Just put your bag down here. I am going to take it at three. One, two, three. Yeah. What happened? Want me to do it again? No, Thank you. I love a good joke. And this one is probably the best of all, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to the good people here at Madame Tussauds, New York. Thank you guys. You know, all spring long, we've partnered with our friends at Family Dollar to celebrate moms. Well, a partnership is a two-way street, so I decided that I was gonna go ahead to Family Dollar and roll up my sleeves and do a hard day's work. Take a look. Here I am at the Family Dollar. I've got on my work wig, my work eyelashes, and flats. I'm ready to do my work. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. Hi, Donna. I'm ready to work. And we're ready to put you to work today. You notice I'm early? That's great. So can I have a longer break? No. Got a uniform for you. Oh. And we have a dressing room for you. Do you have a waist cinching belt that I can fashion this with? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask. You can tuck it in and, yes. and you can blouse it out and you can make it look fabulous. Can I tie it in a knot? Abs no. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> you got me there. No. All jokes aside, I'm really looking forward to rolling up my sleeves and getting busy. So where okay. do I change? Okay. Just go straight back where you see the sign that says exit. All right. Ready to work. It's a great price and it smells good. You'll thank me later. No, wait, hold on. No, Selma Hayek is married and she's got a baby. And I gotta go. Bye. Hi, boss. Wendy, huh? it's not break time, okay? Sorry, boss. That's right. Oh, clean up an aisle here. <laughs> we need every little bit picked up, please. Every little bit. I'll take the next customer. Hi, how are you, man? I'm doing well. I, got, I feel like you just got here. I love this store. In and out quickly, right? Absolutely. You wear wigs, too. You gotta change it up. Did they have any in my hair color back of there? Of course. Love the change. This is really hard work. And now it's time for a special Family Dollar employee edition of Ask Wendy. How can I help? Okay, how do I get my husband to get his butt off the computer and help out around the house? What's he looking at on the computer, first of all? Big butt booty girls? Media takeout. Oh! Celebrity stuff. Oh, your husband likes, likes hot topics. Mm -hmm. Like me. <laughs> well, if he helps you around the house, then he can have ample time to be on the computer, and you won't nag him. I agree. Yeah, yeah. compromise. Yeah. Okay, who's next? Okay, I have a question. Okay. So, I've been with my boyfriend three years, hey. and we live Sorry, here. boss. Wendy, well, we got the tea party. We were doing Ask Wendy. No, no, come on, chop, chop. Okay. Chop, chop. This is nice. Those are good. I love these. Girl, let Please. me tell you. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> hey, Wendy, how are you gonna clean up that Lindsay Lohan situation? I know, right? She's a mess, but she's mess. young. Wow, a water gun. I love it. I shoot my husband with it. Really? Mm -hmm. I love those kind of games too. <laughs> Can you bag your own stuff not while I problem, run and get myself one and put it in my employee locker? <laughs> Thanks. I can't believe how much stuff fit in my employee locker and how much change I got from it. Oh, Donna. Hey, Wendy. We're at the end of our road. We really appreciate all your hard work. Thank you, Donna. We can't pay you. Huh? But here is a token of our appreciation. Oh. You cannot open it okay. now until the day of the show. You promise? I promise. Here you go. Thanks, Donna. 
thank you again. I hope you had fun. I we did had have fun. fun. With you. you taught me a lot about responsibility, Donna, and being on time. Chop, <laughs> chop. Bye, everybody. Bye, Wendy. I sure did have a lot of fun working at the Family Dollar, and I see that my boss, Donna, is here in our audience today. <laughs> Donna, can I please open my gift now? Absolutely. Okay, great. There's a note inside. Oh, there's a note inside. How you doing, Wendy? As a token of appreciation and in celebration of Mother's Day, we're giving all of the hardworking moms in your studio audience a $100 gift card <laughs> to Family Dollar. 